Are you fighting against veganism and climate change? Like, I always yes. think you want to surf in the right direction with the waves. Yes. And this seems like we're surfing head on into the tsunami with the rising number of vegans and climate change concerns. Yeah. So we agree with vegetarians and vegans. I agree. The main complaint is that the meat industry is broken, that there's a ton of suffering for the animals, that there's a ton of suffering for the environment, that there's a ton of suffering for the farmers. I agree with that. Where we differ is I believe that animal-based protein is part of a healthy diet and very few people can actually live a healthy diet on a vegan diet or a vegetarian diet. And so for us, it's like if you're going to eat meat, which by the way, most people do, if you're going to eat meat, how do we transform an industry that is totally broken? And how do we make a product that people don't have to feel guilty about eating? Because in this country, for most of the meat that you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis, like if you only knew, there would be a lot of guilt associated with the type of product you're eating. And yes, like there is still a, obviously like animals are, even in our program are killed. So they have like one bad day. But we focus, like what, what we want our brand to stand for is, I call it like the Patagonia of meat. Like we want you, when you buy from ButcherBox, to know that we obsessed over every detail possible for that piece of meat to make sure it had the best life, the farmer was treated the best, the environment was treated the best, the workers in the supply train. Like we, we want everything to like, that we've actually thought about it, we've tried to move it forward. And this going back to like holding this company for a while, the industry is like so in need of disruption that oftentimes like you need a super long time horizon. So I'll give you an example. It turns out in this country, if I wanted to go and figure out the food safety protocols of like a slaughterhouse of like a harvest facility, like how do they handle food safety? Super easy. I could have someone there today. It's like no problem. There's a whole bunch of people like they'll come in with their checklist and they'll figure it out. If I wanted to do the same thing, the same audit at the same facility, but I didn't care about food safety, what I cared about was worker welfare. How are you treating your workers? How many have gotten injured? Is there any child labor here, undocumented labor? Like, like really, what's going on here? There's nobody. There's nobody in this country that I can hire to go in and third-party audit your, th these facilities. It's crazy. I mean, if, if I was creating T-shirts in Bangladesh, I could have fair trade in there like again, in, in a very short amount of time. And why? Well, because nobody wants to open that door and see what's behind it. And I just feel more and more like... Why is that? Is that because the donating, par donating parties are too strong? Is it because uh, lobbyists? Why? Help me understand that. I mean, I think it's one part customers actually giving a shit, right? Um, you think they don't give a shit? No, they don't. Um, the customer, the customer, what they care about is themselves far and away, then the animal, then the environment, animal environment kind of go back and forth, but like, and then way down here is the farmer and not even like the workers in the supply chain are like not even a consideration for most. They don't care. And I, uh, we believe that, you know, in order for me to actually continue it, people need to care. Like we need to put our dollars towards like actually changing the system because there's too much suffering. It's too bad. It's like, you know, people cared for a hot minute during COVID when people were like, unfortunately dying in processing facilities, but that attention has, is long gone. People are like, ah, whatever. I mean, it, it, you know, the average American, or it's like, it's like the average American spends 13 seconds in front of the meat case, 13 seconds. They don't have time to like, you know, figure out what's what. And then it's something like 40% of people don't even touch their meat. They like open the bag and they're just like, Ugh, like throw it in a pan. Right. So, and, and I use that as like an analogy of like how many people actually know what's happening. And it's very few and very few people care. We care.